Two major decisions today by an FDA advisory panel on COVID-19 boosters. Here to discuss it all, ABC7 medical contributor Dr. Ogachika Loze with Sunset ID Care. Okay, Doc, I'm just as confused, if not more confused now as I was before the FDA panel met this morning. What in the heck is going on here? Whew. I don't think we actually know. And I think it's important, Mark, to, for everybody to understand that this was not just a science decision, but it was it became very tribal. There are lots of great physicians, clinicians, and scientists on both sides. To cut to the chase, what the FDA said, or the advisory group said, is that if you're 65 and older, or you have a high risk of COVID, then you're eligible for the booster shot. However, it also said if you're 16 and above, you don't get to get the booster shot. There's an argument to be made that those are the exact same populations. And so it'll be interesting to see what the Advisory Committee on Immunization Practices actually says next week when they meet. That's right, the CDC still has to weigh in on all this. And I'm like you, uh, they're saying, well, okay, anyone who's at high risk of getting COVID-19, if I'm in my 20s and you know have uh, some type of immunocompromised disease, shouldn't I be getting a booster? Yeah, so I think this is where it's really going to be important for people to have a relationship or a conversation with their physician and clinician. I think that 25-year-old that has cancer or uncontrolled diabetes may actually need a booster. There may be 55 and 60-year-olds who are completely healthy with no underlying health conditions, don't have diabetes, don't take medication for rheumatoid arthritis, for example, that will not. The clarity is going to have to come. I think some of the take-home here is to be continued and have a conversation with your clinician. Now, uh, what is your sense? Is the CDC going to follow what the FDA says or do you think they're gonna take a right turn and say no, everyone should get this? I think they're gonna stick to this for the most part. I think the data is not yet there to say that widely everybody should get a booster. I think there is a lot of data. It's not clean, but there is a lot of information showing that the older you get, the further away you are from your second shot, that your immunity may wane and infections that may lead you to the hospital and have severe consequences are there. And so that's my prediction. And again, I don't like to be Nostradamus, so hey, maybe next week I'll be wrong. <laughs> we shall see and we'll have you in here next Friday and hopefully we'll have a decision from the CDC at that point. Absolutely. ABC 7 medical contributor Dr. Ogachika Alozi from Sunset ID Care. Thanks Thank as you. always for coming in.